Hello, this is Evan Simon, and today we're going to learn how to rig eyes for your character. I'm not going to have a character, but I'm just going to add the eyes. So, first, you already deleted the default cube, and you go ahead and delete your lights and camera because we won't need that until render time. And if we have enough time left in this video, uh, we can make an animation, but I don't think we will. So, so we're going to hit space, add mesh, UV sphere. We'll hit you only hit R, and then you will hit X, and then you will hit 9-0. That means we just rotated it on the X axis. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hit A and select this all. Come down here, and then change this just to white, and then hit Assign. And then select this middle vertice, and then hit Shift, and then sh hit Hold down Shift, and Alt. And then click in between these vertices, and we just selected all that. So the same here. Just keep doing it till the till we're done, and that's so we can. So that's good enough. So now we're gonna come down here. We're gonna change it to new. And we're going to turn this color to a uh, bluish color. Then hit assign. So now what we're going to do is we're going to select the middle vertice and we'll hit shift alt. And then we're just going to. And then we're going to hit new. So now we have an eye. It's, this is what we're going to be working with. Um, so go ahead and come down here and set smooth. And we're not going to add no subsurf because that'll take too long. Now pull this over and hit Shift D X, and then pull this along the X axis here. So, <coughs> so we're going to take this and we're going to pull it over, and we're going to take this and pull this over. Sp all right, space add mesh. Arm no, not add mesh, I mean just armature. And we're going to size this up. This is going to be uh, part of the eye control. It's not actually going to be it. So when we, when we grab this bone, we'll have the eye track and some bones in here. And then we can rotate that and everything will follow it. So I'm going to go ahead and name, uh, go to edit mode change go down here and change this to x axis mirror and x-ray I'm going to select this bone I'm going to name it master and then hit enter so this is going to be the master bone go to first go to front view hit shift E in order to extrude it out on both sides so now we're going to select this and we're going to name it I dot L. Then we're going to change this to I dot R. So now we can take this and we can hit Alt P and clear the parent. So when we so now when we grab one bone, the hold on. when we grab one bone, it'll move the other one. So position them into the eye. All right. Now select, select that, and then uh, uh, so now we can uh, rotate the eye bone in. So go to seven or top view. So there's that. Now go down here to pose mode. Select that. Select it. I mean, select the mesh and select the bone. Control P. Make parent to bone. Select that. Control P, and then you have some options. But select the top one, bone, and it only works in pose mode. So now we're going to take this bone, and then we're going to take this bone, and then we're going to hit. Going to hit Control Alt C, 
and then we're going to change it to copy rotation. So we should select one bone and the other bone follows it. So very nice, very very nice. So now you don't want to grab you don't really want to grab this bone right here. So first we're going to go to edit mode. I'm going to select that bone and we're going to select that control P, keep offset and it made parents to both. So we're going to go ahead and stay in edit mode, go to side view and then select one of the bone joints hit extrude and then kind of pull it out like this and then grab and then grab one bone and hit alt p and clear parent so we can manually grab that so now hit g y and then pull these pull these bones out to here and if you have the x axis mirror on it should have done it it should have did it for both so, I have a cold, so I'm going to be talking a little weird. Hit space, bone, and then we have a bone right here. This will control our main eye track. So when we grab that bone, when we grab this bone right here, it will uh, it'll grab the eye tracks, and the eye tracks will move this. So select that, and then select that, control P, keep offset. Oh, wait, I think I did something wrong here. So like this and so like this control P. Okay, there we go. Um so now that we have this. So select this the eye track bone and then this bone. Control P keep offset. So now they're all parented. So when we move this bone right here, it'll move it. Let's go ahead and name these. Let's name this I underscore targ dot master. And then name these Name this I tar dot uh, I underscore tar dot R. And do the same except name it L. So so there's that. All of our bones are named now. So now let's go to pose mode. Uh, select this bone, hit N. So, um, you're going to lock it the location Y, then you're going to lock these, and then you're going to lock this. So, there we go. Now, grab this bone, and grab this bone, and hit Shift I, two active bone, and we go into some extreme looking pose here. Come down here and change the chain length to one, and it should go back to normal. So we only had to do that to one bone, so because this one. So let's explain how this works. Okay, this bone has a IK constraint to that bone. So when we grab this bone and move it, it'll move that eye. But we don't have to do it to this side because this side has a copy rotation of this bone. So if we rotate this bone, no matter what, this one's going to follow. So now what we're going to do is we're going to select that bone, uh, I.L, uh, yeah, and come down here and we're going to change this where it says min x and max x, change it to 20 down here and negative 20 up here. And that'll limit it. So it should have probably done it to both, and it did. So it don't it only goes a certain way now. And um that really helps. So we can get looking like this and then we can make him look up, rotate his head up like that. Then he could look up like this, like he's looking at an airplane. Ooh, ah, yeah, like that. Oh, here we go. Like this. And it's very easy to do the uh eyes. I might do legs next, possibility and a strong chance it will be. Save your project. Uh, dang it. Documents under YouTube. All right, and save your file. That's important because if you if you don't if you don't remember something one day you can just come back to it, and then you close out of your blender. Um, so. That's it. Thanks for watching.